Today, we're coaching and training the RTU unit how to maneuver, successfully maneuver, and attack all the objectives out here. My platoon has been tasked with an attack to destroy a compound of around nine buildings. We are there to attack it and come off the objective unless we take casualties. And if we take casualties, it will turn into an attack to seize until those casualties are brought off the objective. Um, through you know, uh, leadership from the front, um, it is hard. Um, but despite all that, the guys, are, uh, the soldiers, they haven't quit. They're, they're, they're tying it into the bigger picture, what they could be doing elsewhere. And, um, so there's relevance in it. And so All right. <laughs> All right, Sergeant. Could you please state your name, range, <laughs> job title, unit, and location of the unit? Yeah, my name is uh, Chase Bagwell. I'm a Sergeant First Class with Alpha Company of the First Battalion, 121st Infantry. We uh, are out of Lawrenceville, Georgia. That's where our home station's at. All right, thanks, Sergeant. Could you tell me what we're doing here today? Yeah, we're doing a training exercise uh, like that involves that an uh, attack to um, I mean, only two of uh, attack to destroy um, an urban environment so that um, we could do some urban mount training and um, really tie in all the operations and plans and exercises and execution of it. All right, could you tell me how this mission slots into XCTC? Uh, yeah, so this is, uh, I think, our fourth uh, training exercise, a total of eight, and we have different runs for each one of those. Uh, so I'd say we're about halfway through. Uh, each one is almost kind of building in or tying into each training exercise uh, that really gives you the repetition, the, um, uh, the training environment, the resources to really maximize the things that we, um, you know, kind of got us here, that, that our, our foundations, I guess you'd say. All right, and how does this mission affect the lethality of our fighting force. Oh, it gives you the experience. It, um, you know, in, instead of talking about it, reading about it in the book, we can go out there and actually go through the uh, the motions at full speed. Um, you know, tying the things that we want to do to get better, things that we're good at, um, uh, things that we encounter uh, essentially all over the world. Um, it's like I said, it's one thing to do it in a book, but it's another thing to do it um, you know, in actual uh, real training environment. Um, so it kind of gives us the opportunity to uh, uh, play out the things that we're, we're working toward. Right. And how do you expect your soldiers to exhibit leadership? Sorry. Uh, well, <clears throat> from my unit, you know, from my perspective going down, um, I expect the leaders to uh, lead from the front to show them that, you know, hey, this is the way, follow me. Um, showing them how it's, uh, giving that good example of what leadership actually is. A lot of guys, a lot of soldiers don't, uh, don't know the difference between good leadership, bad leadership, until uh, they get both. Um, we just try to set these guys up for success and what they do here and actually tie it into the, the real world as, as well. You know, a lot of times you have 19 year old kids who's never, never had a chance to do anything outside of high school, so to speak, and this is their kind of first chance. They're getting a little bit of uh, adversity, I guess you'd say. Um, and coming from the guys that have been there, done that, we want to show them that um, this is the way it's through me uh, and it's executed by them uh, through our vision and what our scope is. And how do you expect this mission to go, Sergeant? Oh, I always expect it to go uh, fantastic. No, I, I mean, this is where you can make those mistakes. You want to make them here. Um, it's, it's, nobody's perfect. No one's not going to make mistakes. We're going to make those mistakes. And, uh, I tell the guys that um, I want them to. Uh, use it as an example. Leave the emotions out there on the plane. Um, Mistakes happen. The mistake is to uh, not learn from it. So we want it to always go well, but we want to have mistakes and be able to fix it from length to length and exit the DC. Obviously, it gives you the opportunity to do that to make mistakes, build on them, and I guess find new mistakes. Um, so it's the opportunity you don't always get. Concerning, right, is there anything you'd like to add? Uh, no, I, I just. Um, 
keeping guys motivated is always a, um, I guess I'd say, uh, something that uh, I think is a, uh, a strength of mine um, through you know, uh, leadership from the front. Um, it is hot, um, but despite all that, the guys, are, uh, the soldiers, they haven't quit. They're, they're, they're tying it into the bigger picture, what they could be doing elsewhere. And, um, so there's relevance in it, and sometimes there's not. There, there's some relevance here that the uh, uh, training value that we're getting out. So we're going to come out the other side, we're going to make a few mistakes, and uh, we're going to be better for it. So. All right, thank you, Sergeant. Yeah, appreciate it. Thank you so much. He wasn't going to do good. Man, that was fun. It was perfect.